Hi, my name is Misha Lee, and welcome to my channel. Listen, as a salon owner or a business owner or a beauty business owner, it's not always easy to acquire the clients that you want, and it's not always easy to compete in a world that's so competitive. I want to inspire you today with five things that I believe will make you a fantastic owner and help you get the results that you really, really want. Listen, my name is Misha Lee, and I'm the owner of Akachi Beauty Salons in wonderful Albemarle, North Carolina. And I'm also the creative director of Akachi Advanced Learning Academy, where we teach beauty pros what they didn't learn in beauty school. Our main focus is advanced beauty techniques, beauty business financing, and beauty business retirement planning. So welcome this morning. Listen, desire has a lot to do with your ability to achieve your goals. If you get yourself in the right mindset, and the reason I say mindset is that your your desire stems from those things that you put in your mind. You remember when you were little and the teacher asked you what you want to grow up, what you want to be when you grow up? You said, oh, I want to be a nurse, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer. Well, if you said a lawyer, your parents probably put in your head. But no, 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 not necessarily. But listen, whatever it is you wanted to be, that was a desire you wanted to be in that particular place. And in order for you to achieve those results that you really, really want, you have to have a strong burning desire. And I'm going to be honest, as a salon owner, uh, that's not always there. It's not always in that space where you want to stay. Sometimes you just want to flat out quit. You have to find things that can fuel that desire. And I'm going to share four of them with you. Number one, need. What do you need? Not just money. Money cannot be the only thing that you need to get motivated. Because if it is, you'll get to a place where you're working. Because listen, this grind, this, this road that you're on, it requires a lot of hard work, sacrifice, and grind. And I'm going to be honest. After 25 years, sometimes that road is a lot longer than the road you see for other people. Sometimes it, those conditions get so harsh that you, if, it's, if, if a dollar sign is all that you're looking for, you'll find yourself making it halfway down the summit. And you'll say, you know what? Why am I trying so hard and stressing myself out? I'm good right here. And you'll stop. And you won't get the results that you really, really want. You'll get a shadow of it, but the actual results that you're trying to attain. So listen, you have to have something a little bit stronger than just that dollar sign in the need category. You have to have a need to be able to serve your family. You have to have a need to be able to do something and give something back to your community. You have to have a need to be able to have a, 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 a finances so that you can do things with it. So find out what it is you have that need for and make it something that's real, something that's achievable and something that's very, very, very near attached to your soul. Because when you're standing in your salon, when you open up your salon and when you got all the clients, it's real exciting. You get real hype and y'all have social media. We didn't have social media when I started. So we really had to grind, but you have social media. You get on there, you get about a thousand likes. You get people giving you all these compliments. It's easy to get all that encouragement built up, but you still have to have a need beyond just those likes and those followers, because guess what? Just like they love and like you, they'll go love and like somebody else. And when you're looking at that screen and that numbers used to be 5,000 and it's down to 500, and when it used to be 500, it's down to 50. And when it used to be 50, it's down to 5. Trust and believe you better make sure that your need is intact. Because you definitely won't have those other things to cling on to. Lack. lack oh my God. Now, I know y'all can understand this. Lack is another motivating factor. When you are in lack, and y'all hear it all the time, people that grew up, Tyler Perry, he was sleeping in his car, Oprah Winfrey, she went through all this right here. You know, it's a lot of things that you see people go through, but that lack, not having that particular thing will motivate you to do better. Find out and find those spaces that you have lack. And let those things, don't let them depress you because it's easy to get depressed when you need something. It's easy to, to whine and complain and, and to, well, I ain't got what I need. I need this to be in lack. I hear Ming Lee start her hair business with $500. $500. And you're like, well, I don't even have that. We'll start it off with $5. Find something that turn the five into ten, turn the ten into twenty, turn the twenty into forty. You know the story. 
You have to look at that lack as something for you to come up out of, not something for you to lay down in, okay? Other people suffering. Now, listen, how many times have you seen something happen to your homegirl, your homeboy, be like, man, I don't want to go through that. I ain't going to put my family through that. I'm not going to do that to my wife. I wouldn't treat my husband like that. I'm not going to do my man like that. I'm not going to do my girl like that. Man, I ain't going to let my kids go through like that. Looking at other people's suffering is a huge motivator. I know for me, it's a huge motivator. And listen, it, it, it motivated me so much in one area that up until yesterday, I'm going to be transparent with y'all. Up until yesterday, I didn't realize that one person's suffering, one person over 24 years ago caused me to make a decision that I have clinged to up until yesterday. And the reason that I let go of it yesterday is because I realized there was a whole lot more to that particular situation. But only because I, I was on the outside looking in, I said, I'm not going to ever do that to myself in my career. And 24 years watching that person suffer. And every time I hear their name called up, every time I see them, I'm like, mm -mm. man, if they'd have did this, they'd be right.